another video guys this morning has been hectic hence why i have not spoken on here i have been up since half five this morning because i got a call at 11 o'clock last night being like please can you get up in the morning and take some ellen close stuff to a certain person because they are shooting a music video and they may be wearing it i was like absolutely but oh my goodness it has been a day i got up i went i dropped the stuff off i went to a cafe i had breakfast like you saw leon porridge if you know you know then i went to the gym i did shoulders and a little bit of glutes to be honest i only had like an hour so it was quite a ru rust i can't speak it was quite a rushed session but it was good to get moving because the last two days i haven't been able to work out i've just been so manic and then after that i came back to central london went to my osteopath had a great appointment there and now i'm here because today the aim of this video was to do some meal prep with you all so yeah we've had a busy morning we are actually going to be meal prepping lunch today because i am hungry and i need to get back on track like the last few weeks have been manic i have not stopped i've been on holiday been severely hungover a lot and that's okay <laughs> but i'm just feeling it like i'm not feeling so good in myself so i've said today that i'm going to meal prep get back on track and plan my meals for the next week or so um, i'm actually going to ibiza on tuesday which i'm so excited for but it's not party ibiza it's like chill ibiza i've never actually done chill ibiza before i've always done like party drink a lot so i'm excited it's gonna be a nice chilled holiday i'm gonna work i'm gonna just work out and i'm gonna eat good food anyways today we're gonna be meal prepping cajun salmon with a mango kind of salsa and rice i'm excited i've been looking forward to this recipe all day all i've had to eat today is that porridge that i had this morning and a coffee and then i also had that iced latte and some of my protein chock crispies so you can tell it's hungry it is now two o'clock so i am due at some lunch so yeah let's get into it <laughs> This is what you're gonna need. So first what we're gonna do is season the salmon with some Cajun seasoning and then also some clear honey, salt and pepper. Then we place them in the air fryer for around 15 minutes at 180. we're gonna make our mango salsa so i was lazy and i just bought pre-cut mango because who can be bothered to cut up a mango not me i know it's more expensive but guys we're short on time here i can't be spending my time cutting up a mango and also like losing a finger because i am not a good chopper if you've seen my recipe you'll probably see that i'm not good at cutting and that is one thing that i really do lack so i'm making two portions here i'm literally going to use 100 grams of mango and then we're we're also going to take around 80 grams of an avocado so i'm just going to dice that up and then add it to the mango and squeeze in some lime juice And there we go guys, there is my Cajun honey salmon with rice, mango and avocado. So this one I actually heated up the rice because I'm about to eat it now, but this one I haven't heated it up. So what I'll do is when I eat it, I will just reheat it and then the rice won't have been cooked twice. So in this meal, there are 520 calories and 28 grams of protein. So it's high in fat, high in protein, and it's gonna keep me full for the rest of the day, which is exactly what we want. So I've got my Cajun honey salmon and a Coca-Cola. Coke Zero is literally the one. If you have Diet Coke, then we can't be friends. But yeah, hey guys, this looks honestly so good. Like this salmon just falls apart. It's just literally the best. Oh God. Hmm. Well, finished. Guys, that was 
delish. I'll put the ingredients below so that you can also make, oh, I just punched myself. I'll put the ingredients below so that you can also make it because that was a win and I'm really excited to eat that tomorrow. Like it's all prepped. I know that tomorrow is gonna go okay because I've already got basically my lunch prepped. And also later we're gonna be prepping dinner. So I've got a really tasty meal to prep for dinner later. It's kind of like Nando's inspired because love Nando's, but I hate the price. I think it's like nine pound for a butterfly chicken breast. I'm sorry, how can you charge nine pound for one chicken breast? It's just not okay. Like I just don't get it. Can you imagine like the markup on one chicken breast? So my afternoon is literally gonna consist of checking in my clients. I'm also gonna have a shower guys because I don't smell great right now. And I am such a person for like gymming and then just showering straight after because otherwise I just don't feel good and it's not great for your skin either. So yeah, I'm gonna jump in the shower then do some check-ins and then we're gonna meal prep my Nando's inspired meal later. But I actually wanted to talk to you about motivation because I feel like August is such a funny month. Like it's really hard because everyone's going away on holiday. It's kind of summer holidays for like children it's really hot here in england like it's boiling and it's really hard to stay on track and it's hard to kind of keep a really constant routine with the gym and with your diet because obviously social events are happening you're going away on holiday like there's loads of things kind of getting in the way and i think the most important thing is just to not set your expectations too high you kind of have to you know understand that the summer is always going to be challenging but the summer is for enjoying like you know we've worked hard all year don't be afraid to you know take a few days off from the gym like the other week I literally took 10 days off because I was so busy and I was away on holiday then I came back I wasn't very well but you know I literally didn't lose any kind of change in my body whatsoever I mean yes I probably lost a little bit of muscle pump but that comes back like as soon as you've done a workout so I think it's important to kind of you know understand that it's okay to take time off especially you know if you're busy and you know just don't beat yourself up about it because you've got all winter to set yourself in a routine and just to get on with it and I would hate for you guys to kind I just feel like you have to stay on track all throughout the year like it's not gonna happen and you know we are all human we all want to have fun and it's just so important to enjoy life as well as obviously you know having a routine when you can <laughs> Guys, I am so tired. It is literally quarter past six. I've got my glasses on because my eyes are not okay recently. I actually got an eye infection when I went away on holiday and I came back. It definitely got better, but I now feel like it's coming back, which is not ideal. I don't know, my eyes just feel really sore, so glasses are on because I literally can't see a thing. I am so blind. So yeah, I'm gonna have to put the glass on, I'm afraid, but I know it's got like some sort of reflection going on, so I'm really sorry about that. But we are meal prepping recipe number two and it's Nando's sweet potato fries. I'm excited. So what we're gonna need are these ingredients. So for this recipe, we're gonna need some sweet potatoes, some mature cheese, hello me, Nando's marinade. You can use whichever one you like. I just like this one. Then we've got some Perrinades. We've got some chili jam. You can use whatever you like, but obviously these are Nando's. We're making Nando's for us, so we're gonna use these. We've got lettuce and then some chicken breast. So today I'm gonna make two portions and the first thing I need to do is chop up the sweet potato into chips. So I'm gonna use 150 grams per portion. Then we are going to season them. I forgot to add this to the ingredients with some paprika, salt and pepper. Place them into your air fryer for around 25 to 30 minutes at 180 degrees.
there we go. There is my Nando's sweet potato fries. I've got lettuce, the sweet potato, cooked salumi, the shredded Nando's chicken. I've got cheddar cheese, chili jam, peronets. Oh, it literally looks so good. So per portion of each meal, there are 447 calories and 50 grams of protein. I feel like you guys need to sit in the light in order to appreciate this bowl of goodness. Yum. So I am literally gonna sit here and enjoy this bowl of goodness before sitting down, taking my makeup off and just chilling because I've just been so busy guys. Like I'm really looking forward to this Ibiza holiday. I need a break. <laughs> but yeah, one of the things like when I'm cooking my meals at home, it's so much easier if you cook more than one portion because I know a lot of people like to kind of save money and stuff However, if you actually cook for more than one portion, you'll save so much more money If I don't cook more than one portion I always find that I have so much food left over and it just goes to waste because it goes out of date So definitely, you know use all of the food in your fridge make more than one portion like be prepared plan for the week And honestly, you'll find it so much easier to stay on track with your goals literally this chicken and sweet potato bowl it looks so good. I'm so obsessed with anything Nando's. And that is my two current favorite meal prep recipes. Honestly, I love these recipes. They're so easy to make, they're so quick, and they're just super tasty. So I'll make sure I put all of the ingredients below. And if you guys wanna make them, then you can also make them as well. But thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure that you like the video and also subscribe to my channel. And please let me know what you wanna see more of. Honestly, I love requests and I will definitely take it on board. So yeah, thank you so much. And I'll see you at the same time next week. Bye-bye.